Today's the day we're going to Korea. Don't keep me down. Don't keep me down. Don't keep me down. Don't keep me down. Yeah. 뭐 같은 거 있나? This is our Airbnb. The ceilings are so low. What the? I feel so tall. my grandparents we're gonna go pick them up there's like a typhoon going through korea right now and so i'm probably not going to be doing much for the first two days just because i don't want to get like absolutely drenched in rain So I'm planning to go to Hongdae today and I was originally going to meet up with her tomorrow and every other day this week because I have no friends in Korea um, she's the only person I know because we danced together back home. It is a beautiful day outside. The skies has cleared up because it stopped raining, which I'm very happy about. But I have to leave now because I'm already late. And I know it's going to take me longer than I think because I am just, just a tad bit directionally challenged. I also need to get a bus card at the convenience store. <laughs> Oh 
god, this is like, why are these literally stage outfits? I got this from here. This is an accessory store. And it's just walls. And walls. much in the vlog for the past couple of days. Yesterday I went to Hive Insight with my friend which is like an interactive museum kind of of all the groups that are under Hive like BTS, TXT, Seventeen, La Seraphim. Um, actually I don't think they have anything for La Seraphim yet and it was so cool but I couldn't take any videos or photos in most of the exhibition so I couldn't like show you guys anything but if you're a fan of any of the groups under Hive, I would highly recommend you visit. We also went to a dog cafe and it was so cute! I will say that the dogs aren't like super friendly. They only come to you if you have treats. Animal cafes are a must if you come to Korea. I am doing a little solo adventure today, going to Seoul Forest. I've been doing a lot of shopping as you can see, so I'll probably do a haul later. But tonight I'm also going to take a dance class at One Million Dance Studio. If you don't know, One Million is one of the most popular or internationally well-known dance studios in Korea and I'm very excited but it's much later in the day so I have until then to explore I'll definitely try to vlog more today Middle of the road It's just a feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet Made me whole again You came in my life I want to see your face Never will I be Be the same again Well, I thought I knew Life was all about that song had already been sung I was going on Still minding my own business Say your face again 
they gave me free ice cream and I was kind of confused at first. I was like, I don't think they give free ice cream to everyone, but obviously I took it. And then as I was paying for my meal, the owner of the restaurant came up to me and gave me this gift. <laughs> I guess he gave it to me kind of as a gift for doing free advertising for the restaurant. It was so random. But I mean, you know, I'm not complaining. It's very nice of them. I wanna see that was recommended by a Korean YouTuber. I think her name is Kyun Choi. I got the exact same thing that she got when she came to this cafe, but it's like a teddy bear on Madeline and an ice cream tunnel. There's so many people here, I barely got a table. I just wanna be with you, right? Where'd you run? I'm so 
it's like midnight right now but i thought i would do a little bit of a recap of the one million dance studio experience because it was it was definitely an experience let me just say that so I took a learner's class with Tina Boo and I would highly recommend Tina Boo's classes because she's just so friendly, she's so welcoming, she's the type of person that I want to be friends with. <laughs> I was pretty nervous in the beginning but I did not expect to be so humbled by that class. I'm by no means a fast learner, like I'm pretty slow at learning choreography for the dance covers that I'm in and stuff but I've been dancing for over four years, like I have some experience under my belt and even then, like, I was struggling. I was so stressed the entire time. The actual choreography itself was pretty simple and straightforward, but the pace at which we were learning to dance was so fast and it was something that I was totally not used to. Immediately after the class ended, I was feeling so defeated. I walked in having really high expectations for myself, which I shouldn't have. I wish I had gone in with no expectations and just to have fun because I think that would have made me a lot less stressed and would have just made the whole experience more enjoyable. But please don't let my perspective discourage you from taking a dance class at 1 million or any dance classes in general. If you're afraid of what people will think about you, let me just say no one cares. No one cares. Everyone is just focused on themselves and how they are doing and I promise that if you mess up or do anything weird, no one is gonna remember it. Trust me. Because I was only thinking about myself in that moment too. Um, I'm gonna try and take another dance class next week and let go of those expectations for myself. You know, just loosen up a little bit. It's not the end of the world. That was my experience at One Million Dance Studio. Fortunately, my camera died um, and I don't have any extra charged batteries. Rookie mistake. But I did promise y'all that I was gonna do a haul of the things I got. Start off with the stationery because that's what I mainly got today. First place being Molling Pusu, Molling Booth. Everything was bear and cherry theme. So freaking cute. This is a postcard that I got. Stickers, sticky notepad, and this little stationery makeup bag. Crochet, cherry keychain <laughs> to put on top of the bag. Like, Come on, come on. They also gave me some freebies because I spent over 20,000 won. This is a calendar and a little fan. So the next place that I went to was called Made By and y'all, I did some damage. I literally made up an excuse just so I could buy more stickers. Have I ever made a photo card holder in my life? No. But you bet your ass I'm gonna start making them as soon as I get home because look out how freaking cute these are! The lighting is not doing them justice, but they're like shimmery and sparkly. Yeah. 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 Plant stamp stickers. Bear stickers. Rabbit stickers. And letter stickers. Also got these metal pads because I had absolutely no restraint. Right, finally the last thing that I bought today <laughs> was a necklace handmade cute so i'm so tired right now i'm my brain is not functioning properly but as always thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see y'all in the next one Bye.